Climate is a critical factor in the lives and livelihoods of all people and in development as a whole. Climate and weather forecasting has a major influence on disaster risk management and reduction. According to the Centre for Research on the Epidemiology of Disasters, 91% of the 2000 to 2009 global disasters were associated with naturally occurring weather and climate factors, such as strong winds, heavy rain resulting in floods, insufficient rain resulting in droughts and very high or low temperatures. Floods and storms alone account for 73% of recorded disasters. Climate is also a principal factor influencing food production and food security. La sécheresse est de plus en plus exacerbée par les changements climatiques. Le Mali fait partie des pays les plus The main climate related threat to life in Mali is drought. Drought is increasingly exacerbated by climatic variations. Mali is one of the poorest countries on the planet because most of the population live from subsistence agriculture, so any alteration in food production has very serious consequences. There are fields. The locusts have eaten everything, and now we have to go away to look for food for the old people in the village. Here, there is nothing anymore. For several billion people, Agriculture is a way of life. Their livelihood and their only source of nutrition. Therefore, it is at high importance for these populations to achieve a rich base of experience concerning the use of climate information and climate risk management at all levels, from the farm to global food markets. We want community radios to inform us about the weather or have our own radios to tune in and listen to weather forecasts. Good health is a primary aspiration of human social development and is necessary for sustainable economic development. Climate can have a negative influence on health which is most pronounced for poor populations in developing countries, where livelihoods are heavily dependent on rain-fed agriculture and seasonal weather resources. In those areas, people are often exposed to infectious vector-borne, water-borne and airborne diseases such as malaria and cholera. Furthermore, these populations are exposed to local air and water pollution sources. The access to information, health services and public health regulation is often minimal. Water is fundamental to life and is essential for agriculture, municipal services, industry and environment protection. Water is a carrier and diluter of waste and pollution. It is a channel for various diseases while also being a facilitator of hygiene and good health. Climate can cause excesses of water or prolonged absences of water, both being among the greatest natural hazards for human society. In view of the current concerns on climate variability and climate change and the increasing frequency and intensity of extreme events that impact several economic sectors, such as agriculture, health, water and disaster risk reduction, there is a growing demand for climate services from these sectors. The World Meteorological Organization, WMO, and partners organized the World Climate Conference 3 in 2009 which decided to establish a global framework for climate services to strengthen the provision and use of climate products and information. 
the new user interface platform of the Global Framework for Climate Services will bring the climate information users and providers closer. Hence, flooding is expected over some areas. And people are advised to remain indoors and in safe places. As the it will also ensure that all sectors of society have user-friendly climate products that enable them to plan ahead in the face of changing climate conditions.